Hello, I'm Neil Humphreys and welcome back to the Allianz Explorer Camp Football Edition Asia 2019 here live at the arena in now sunny Singapore and right now we're about to have an exciting challenge between FC Bayern mascot, give us a wave Bernie, Bernie the bear over my right shoulder and he will be up against over my left shoulder this gentleman over here Duncan one of the world's finest drone, yes that's drone, pilots. So they're about to have a competition. Bernie the Bear against Duncan the Drone pilot. Let's see how they get on. Ready Bernie? Here we go. And we're off. And Bernie the Bear is in the lead, but look at Duncan and his flying drone. Here we go. Who's going to win, Bernie or the drone? Bernie's going left, Bernie's going right. Good foot coordination there from Bernie the Bear. But it doesn't look a particularly fair fight, if I'm being honest. And as the victor comes around me and circles around me with Duncan, the drone pilot. I'm slightly scared, but slightly impressed. Duncan, well done, well done. Very pleased to meet you. Now, if you can hold that. So Duncan is one of the world's greatest flying drone pilots. He's part of the Drone Racing League, is that right? The DRL. And he's here this week to teach our wonderful young footballers over there. We've got 43. Are you okay over there? Give us a wave. Are you okay over there? They look good. 43 young, talented footballers from eight participating countries learning drone skills from Duncan here, who's from France. Now, first question, Duncan. Yeah. How did you learn about this? How did you get into drone racing? So I try, I start a really long time ago with like remote control airplane and helicopter. And a few years ago when the drone racing start, I was like directly into it because it's, it's amazing. So like I really start by simulating. So that's the easiest way. And after I, I went to a field, I buy my first drone and I go for it. And how popular is drone racing becoming around the world? It's getting really big with now with the drone racing league on TV mm -hmm. and now this, this season is going to be on NBC so it's going to be amazing and it's getting really popular. And how many hours each week do you spend practicing drone racing? Because what I saw there, you left Bernie the bear in the dust, poor Bernie. Yeah. So how do you learn those skills? How much training is involved? So the thing is like the morning when I wake up, I repair my drone and the afternoon I train all day. So it's, it's like... All day? All day. Like all day, every day. Like and you said at the beginning you repair your drone. Yeah, because I crash How a lot. How much are you crashing your drone? <laughs> Let's say like a few times per day. <laughs> And so how do you practice? Do you, where do you have to go to do this practice? Do you go around obstacles, open yeah. fields? How do you do it? So I, 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 I create a track with my friends. So we build gate and flags and cones. And after we set up a line to make it and we train all day to the same track. Right, right. And you've been doing it today. He did a fantastic opening ceremony for our football camp this morning. What was the reaction from all our footballers watching over there? They look really interesting. Even if they come only for, for soccer, like they, they like to see new things. And drone racing is like, you know, we're all here to have fun. So mm. if they do soccer, I do drone, we're all here to have fun. That's the most important thing. Now, as you say, the Drone Racing League is taking off all over the world. Drone racing is yeah. becoming really popular. So for people watching here, what would be your tips? How do you become a drone racer? And how do you become a better drone racer? Uh, I would say like always believe in your dream and work hard for it because like if you just if you just go easy you will never become a professional drone racing pilot you need to like believe in your dream and go hard for it right and, and you've been, been here today, today at this wonderful Allianz Explorer camp yeah. Football Edition Asia 2019. What has been your experience of this camp today? It's cool. Like it's nice to see that all the kids are like playing. Like they they here to like to learn. That's that's what is really important. I'm really happy to see that. And would you have liked something like this growing up in yeah. France? I would love to have this for drone racing. That would be amazing. <laughs> well. The players today, they've had a wonderful opportunity to learn from one of the world's best, that's Duncan, Thank you. when it comes to drone racing. Now, he has a challenge. You won't believe this challenge. He's going to mix drone racing with football. He's going to blend the two together. Tell us what you plan to do. I'm going to try now. I'm going to make a goal with my drone. So you're going to see that and it's going to look amazing if I make it, but I think I'm going to do it. Right, so the drone is right here. Yeah. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take action. Right, so there's the drone. 
Get it up off the ground. Here we go. Right. It's hovering now. He's about 15 meters away from goal. He's ready. Are you ready for this, Duncan? Yeah. Everybody's watching. The footballers are watching. I'll give you a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoot! He did it, boys and girls. That was absolutely, absolutely extraordinary. extraordinary. Now, now he, he scored. scored. Did, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. What did you think of his goal? It was great. It was spectacular. <laughs> okay, you're at the camp this week. Tell me your name first. Jerry. Jerry. And where are you from, Jerry? I'm from China. How old are you? I'm 16. Can you score like that? Uh, was that no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. With the football. With the football. So, what, what position do you play, Jerry? Uh, almost everything besides goalie. I was a goalie. What's wrong with being a goalie? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, you're here for this camp. What is it about this camp that excited you so much? because it's a huge uh, club and it's like everyone around the world can come. Uh, I mean, Asia, everyone around Asia can come and you can make new friends and get around this Bayern coach and it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really great for me. Because, because FC Bayern, Bayern is, of course, course a very big club now in Asia. Asia. Um, what, what skills, skills are you hoping, hoping to pick, pick up and develop, develop this week? Uh, I think uh, better communication with teammates, maybe in some of improvements of my own skills, maybe, and yeah, I think that's the most. You mentioned your friends there. You've been at this camp now for one morning. I see you've done some passing, some short games, some dribbling. Have you made any new friends yet? Yes, I've already made a lot of friends. Fantastic. There are some from Malaysia, there are from, some from Indonesia, and there's some from Laos. A lot of new friends. It's really exciting. Because, because we have 43 participants here I know. From, from eight different, different countries, countries, boys and girls, which I think is absolutely fantastic. fantastic. And, and are you finding that you're developing a bit of a team bond, a team spirit in the camp? Yes, definitely. It's, uh, such, it's so great that I'm being in this huge group. There's everyone from different country, and you can exp like exchange your um, culture from different countries, and I think that's great. And aren't you a little bit starstruck? I'm, I'm starstruck. You have a FC Bayern legend out there. Yeah. yeah. Ivica Olic, right there. Have you, have you been watching Olic? Have you been learning from him? Well, not really. Before I uh, I attend this camp, because then I started looking up looking up him on Google. So and I found him and start I watched a little bit of him. So. But it's great that he's here. It's, it's, it's a legend. And, and you're, you're looking forward to the masterclass with Olic in the next couple of days? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and what, what do you hope? hope? What do you hope to take away from this camp? I have to hope to take away a lot of friendship, of course, and then develop like improvement of my own skills. And also it's, um, like practice English. <laughs> well, that's important. Yeah. And what have been your favorite things about this camp so far? Making friends. Making That's friends. Different. Yeah. That's and Singapore. Different. What do you think of Singapore? It's great. It's hot though. It's, it is hot. It is we hot. Have to live. Like, yeah, it's raining rain this morning. morning yes. Which yes. cooled things off a little bit. bit. Yep. So, so what, what are they working, working on this afternoon? afternoon? I'm not sure actually. Lots, Lots of passing and shooting and, shooting and dribbling and all the rest of it. Well, well you've been a wonderful interview. Thank you so much for doing this today. I hope by the end of this camp you can shoot and score as well as Duncan's drone. Can you do that? I hope I will. Okay, okay. we'll check. I'll check. Okay. I'll check, I'll check back, back in at the end of the week. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thanks, so, so that's, that's all we have, have today, today, right here, live at the Allianz Explorer Camp. Football Edition Asia 2019. As you can see, the guys behind me are just finishing another training session. It'll be non-stop training today, tomorrow and Friday. So do remember to check back in right here every day to get your latest updates from right here at the Arena Singapore, the Allianz Explorer Camp, Football Edition Asia 2019. See you tomorrow.